I don't see Seth. Try number two of my live stream of a walkthrough of the San Diego Comic Con exhibit hall. Sorry for those of you who got disconnected. We're going to try this again. They just installed a new Wi Fi system here at the convention center. So it's not as good as it has been in previous years. But uh, this exhibit hall floor at San Diego Comic Con has 700 vendors. This is, I'm uh, now at aisle 1800 out of 5,200. This part of the exhibit hall has mostly vendors who sell stuff. So if we take a look over here, like this vendor is selling various t-shirts and posters. I'm gonna go ahead and flip this off me so you can see more of what's actually on the convention center hall. Famous monsters of Filmland, Frankenstein, always super popular. Uh, this is the Del Rey bookstore. People standing in line either to buy books, maybe to get their books signed. Uh, take a look over here. This is the heavy metal booth. They've got uh, the heavy metal adult illustrated fantasy magazine. Continuing onwards this way. Over here on the left, we have Asylum Press, which has a uh, poster from Bob's Burgers. Great show on Fox. I like walking around the spot. Coming over this way, down this aisle. And after I walk this way, assuming my Wi Fi holds up, I'll turn around and walk the other direction. A uh, popular booth and company here at Comic Con every year is the Her Universe booth. There's always a Her Universe fashion show every year at the Her Universe fashion show. They show cosplay and costumes just for girls. We'll go ahead and come down this aisle. This booth sells Star Wars related art. Uh, looking over here, this, uh, these people are always fun. They sell bathrobes with various superhero sci-fi themes. You can get uh, a Superman bathrobe, uh, a yellow one, that's probably for me. Uh, various other bathrobes here, maybe Doctor Who, Star Trek, lots of fun things to take home. Uh, over this way, right here in the middle, is the National Cartoonist Society. Become somebody who draws comics, that'd be your place. This section has probably the biggest selection now of comic book vendors. One of the things that's kind of interesting about San Diego Comic Con, when it started, it was primarily focused on comic books, but as the years have gone on, there have been less and less comic books, and more and more toys, statues, movies, and television shows. Uh, but if you are a comic book collector, San Diego Comic Con is likely a mecca or heaven for you. This is the gold and silver age section, old comic books. This place, Motor City Comics, they buy comic books from 1935 to 1980. So it's a lot of really old comic books. People come from all over the country to exhibit at San Diego Comic Con. They come from all over the country to attend. I'm not even sure where Bedrock City is, but this is a comic book store from Bedrock City. If you like to read comics, there's not just expensive ones, but there's cheap ones here in these boxes. You can get uh, comics for $3 each. Quite a wide selection. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and go down one of these aisles again, back to the main aisle. We'll go past some more comic book vendors. And uh, as we go this way, on the right, this is the Hachette Book Group. On the left, Mysterious Galaxy Books. Books, animated books. Very popular. More books here, and on top of the books, there's toys. Uh, collectible toys have been gaining. If you are curious as to whether Walt Disney is here, yes, Disney Publishing Worldwide has a booth right there. You can get all of your Disney books. One of the things that's been no video. Brian, do you see video now? Does this have video if you look at it this way? But when I flip forward, are you telling me there's no video when I flip forward? Now I'm looking forward. Hmm. 
It's very sad that there's no video because I can see the video. <laughs> can you see my video? Anybody on YouTube, can you see any video right now? Or is it black? Aww. Mimi3000 says Mimi3000 can see video. So, that's good. All right. Well, in that case, I will keep going with the assumption that some of you can actually see video. All right, Robin Wingding says they can see video too. Okay, so back to my comment about Funko Pops. Uh, the Funko Bobbleheads have been super popular at Comic-Con. And uh, every year for the last few years, Conan O'Brien has been coming to Comic-Con. He's filming here again this year, and he's got the Funko Bobbleheads. Now, let's go down this way. This section of Comic-Con uh, has a lot of Japanese goods, Japanese toys. Um, right here, there's a lot of stickers. Um, R2-D2, this little bear guy, Jurassic Park. I love it. Uh, this stall is the Anime Bazaar. And uh, Anime Bazaar has lots of... Uh, Japanese statues. Exactly how many the print run will be and all that good stuff. We'll go ahead and continue down here this way. Yes, the bear is from the movie Ted. Thank you for uh, that. Uh, here's a big set of comic books. You can see these are fairly inexpensive. Five dollars, eight dollars, four dollars. But we go up in the back. There's some for fifteen, twenty-nine, forty-nine, seventy-five dollars as we get up to the top of that comic madness thing. Obviously there's going to be more expensive comic books uh, and some that we probably haven't seen yet. This stall, I always love these stalls, this stall sells swords. Any sword you would want you can pick up right here. Big swords, little swords, uh, costume swords, and uh, hi from Argentina Parodius, thanks for joining the live stream. The fake swords, it says any age can buy this. But the real swords up there, I think, are 18 plus. Okay, let's go ahead this way. Ooh, I'll see some cool stuffed animals as we walk this way. All right, going down this aisle. Uh, this is something that if you've seen my WonderCon live stream, was popular at WonderCon and is popular uh, at Comic-Con 2, which are mystery chests. Here for $39.99, you get one of these boxes full of stuff. What kind of stuff? Who knows? But it's stuff that they tell you is worth $100. I'm not sure that I want to part with my $100 for a box full of random stuff, but when I was at WonderCon, it seemed like every third stall sold to those mystery boxes. The good news is there's slightly less of them at Comic-Con. <laughs> this stall sells lots of cute Japanese stuffed animals. Uh, here's some things from Overwatch. Here's a bunch of things from Pokemon. Pretty cute stuffed animals. I said the Funko Pops were popular. I wasn't kidding. This one's all Funko Pops. This stall right here, they don't sell comic books. They sell comic book art. So just art that comic book artists put together. Oh, this is kind of like a gothic looking one. And uh, they have some very, very cool sculptures here. But they're not cheap. That one right there, it's cute. $275 though. Original drawings, $100. Something to know about Comic Con is it is very expensive. And uh, Ah Clement joined the live stream and says hello from Singapore. Thanks for joining Ah Clement. This uh, stall here, Stern Pinball. They're here every year. They have three pinball machines. You can play for free, assuming you get in line and no one's playing ahead of you. Another great thing about Comic Con, it's often called Line Con. So there's plenty of these people that'll say, line starts here to tell you what to get in line for. Never know. I talked about cosplay. Here is someone dressed up as uh, Bart Simpson with a top hat. Very creative. As we walk over this way, this is now we're getting to the west end of San Diego Comic Con. And at the west end, uh, there's Upper Deck. They uh, 
started as selling baseball cards, but they have a lot of trading cards. There's a big Iron Man statue right there. Super cool to take a picture with. Life-size Iron Man. Over here is uh, Microsoft with Xbox. And then of course, the funny thing about next to Xbox, there's this thing called A-Box, which is apparently for the Alien Covenant Box. And uh, the Alien Covenant Box, for $50, you get these set of things, which they say are worth $150. You can get the face hugger to put on your face. Okay, one of the cool things about Comic-Con are the big booths. Now I'm in some of the big booths areas, not the small vendors. Uh, Microsoft and Xbox, they are showing off here for Middle Earth Shadow of War, and you can ride on a big dragon. That's very cool. And uh, you get your picture taken on it right there. They probably print and email it to nope. you. Nope. No, better. they don't? Watch the special effects. It's better? The Wait special for effects? Wait for it after the trailer. Hold okay. On. Yeah, this is what the pictures look like, or the movies right look like. This. Wow, that is pretty cool. It breathes fire. So, if you want to get a breathing fire picture, stop by the Xbox booth at San Diego Comic Con. Oh my God. Thank you very much. Over this way, we have the Capcom store. Capcom makes a lot of video games like Street Fighter and Mega Man. You can play the Mega Man Legacy Collection over here. And uh, Scottman895 Travel just joined the live stream. Thanks for joining. This is the, probably the coolest convention I would say I've ever been to. I've been going to San Diego Comic Con since, whew, maybe like 1993, pretty much every year. It is quite a big convention. Uh, I'll be putting out another video later tonight, earlier tomorrow, talking about the things to know before you go to Comic Con. So if you're watching this day later, uh, take a look for that video. I'll post a link in the comment section. So <laughs> I mentioned that uh, this is the Capcom booth. Cool thing about the Capcom booth, they've got some old Street Fighter games. They've got, well these are newer, Street Fighter Third Strike 3, but back over here, this uh, brings back a lot of memories they actually have a Street Fighter II Turbo game. If anybody would like to challenge me at Fireballs or Chun-Li, I'll take you up on that. I used to play a lot of, a lot of Street Fighter. Okay, let's go ahead this way, further back. This is the Wiz Kids booth. This section is pretty much all video games. This is aisle 100, so this is one end of the convention center. And then now that I'm here, you can see the convention center goes like 52 aisles down that way. So, really long way. Down here is the Bandai Namco booth. Always popular for Tekken. Let's go ahead and take a look this way. Uh, Bandai has a whole bunch of these capsule stations. These capsule stations are super popular in Japan. Typically you put like a yen coin in it, you get like a little toy capsule. This one has patches, this one has keychains. Uh, I think you would probably give them five dollars and they would give you a token to do that. All right, let's go ahead and go around this booth. Lots of people playing video games here. This is the Behemoth Friends. I'm not sure what the Behemoth Friends are, but the graphics on those games look sort of neat. Behind them, the always popular Nintendo booth, uh, where they are advertising Super Mario Odyssey. Get your picture taken with Super Mario and some uh, mushrooms. Super Mario Odyssey, and a lot of people playing video games. Kind of reminds me of Ender's Game. You know, how do these people know they're playing an actual video game and not fighting a video game war? Looks like a pretty fun game. I have not played this one yet, so I might have to check it out. Over here is Glitchware. It is a company that specializes in t-shirts based on video games. This is funny. They have a t-shirt that says, you noob, go frag yourself. 
<laughs> Which is great since I'm live streaming on YouTube. So, yeah. All right. <laughs> Along the outside walls of Comic Con, there's typically areas set up for lines. And uh, I mentioned it's Line Con. Then they have these signs around here that say, this is the Comic Con line staging area. No standing or sitting. But you'll notice there's actually a lot of people standing here because, well, they're in line. Back here is Blizzard Entertainment, makers of StarCraft, Warcraft, everything awesome like that. And so I think that line was basically people standing in line to buy stuff from Blizzard. I mean, they don't really even need a gold mine. They can basically print money. Uh, let's see, right here, Blizzard has a cool model. I should know what that character is, and I've seen it before, but for some reason the name escapes me. And uh, this is uh, interesting. This is the PC Gamer and Dell booth. Dell obviously advertising their computers, telling you that you should buy a Dell computer instead of a Nintendo to play better games. Oh, back over in this section, we have the California Brown Coats. They are a non-profit group that uh, Brown Coats. They're like a cosplay group for, I think, Firefly, the Firefly series. Night Owl Inc. Uh, this is a vendor that sells the t-shirts as seen on the Big Bang Theory. So if you'd like a t-shirt just like you saw on Big Bang Theory, you can get it from here. Uh, Superman Ross says, woo, so welcome. And Scottman895 Travel says it reminds him of PAX East in Boston, although PAX East is a little more video game centered. Okay, I'm just here. Yes, so this conference, I would say, has a small portion video game centered, a lot of video game items, but it's huge. This is uh, epic cosplay wigs. If you'd like to pick up a red, blue, green, I mean the wig I like the best is this one. It is like as long probably as I am tall. Probably like six feet tall wig. All right, if we go this way, again, a lot of cosplay items here. These are cosplay masks. Um, steampunk has become super popular at Comic-Con. This booth just has a lot of steampunk type wear. Clocks, uh, goggles, top hats, everything you'd want for steampunk. And, uh, you're pretty good, how about yourself? Pretty good, pretty good. Excellent. Dork Alandia kitties, $35 sewn. Oh, what have we got here? Anime Coast with uh, anime art books. This one has a bunch of cute Japanese stuffed animals. And this one has interesting, like, model cars already in collectible cases. You don't even have to get the case, I think, or even the lights, because those will come with it. Other model cars, other X-Men toys, and a bunch of these cases. All right, let's go this way. Ooh, one of my favorite games on that, because I like Sonic. Right here, this is pretty cool. This one sells cute little onesies. So if you're looking for a onesie, you know where to get it. Uh, coming down this way, we're now on aisle... Oh gosh, I don't know. I lost the aisle signs. But uh, this stall back here specializes in Magic the Gathering. I used to play a lot of Magic the Gathering back in the day, so that tells you just how dorky I am. We've got more stuffed animals. At this point I am walking back into the middle of the hall. We'll get back to Marvel, DC, we'll go to the Star Wars booth, we'll see some of the television groups. Uh, some of the stalls have very interesting art. I'm making a right turn because I saw some very interesting artwork. Uh, the artwork here is like a guy in a bathtub. I mean that is I don't want to say that that's something you'll only see at Comic-Con, but that is definitely something to buy at Comic-Con. Grave Chase, uh, some video games, and you can play it on gravestones. That's very creative. Uh, Superman Ross says, the city of Metropolis want to know what up, Yellow Productions, woo! And uh, Superman Ross says, 
he's buying a lot of DC and some Marvel stuff as well. So cool, Superman Ross. I take it, and that means you're coming to Comic-Con. Are you here today? You coming later? When you coming? And for those of you who are watching the replay and wondering who I'm talking to, this was streamed live as a live stream. So I'm sorry you missed out on the live stream. If you'd like to check out my other Comic-Con <laughs> content, I've got links in the description below to best cosplay, uh, and uh, there might be some other live streams coming up too. This stall just sells buttons. Buttons, buttons, and more buttons. These are button magnets. Maybe a magnet that says there's always money in the banana stand. And they've got big magnets too. 